Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So here we'll see how to clear unread messages. And what do I mean by that? So if you have a chatting application and if you would like to send messages to somebody, like say, for example, here I'm going to send a message. I say, hi, how are you? How are you? All right. And we'll see that this is our another app. Then that app is going to receive this message. Well, I'm on simulator, so receiving is a bit slow, but in real world device is much faster because we are using Firebase as a backend. So at the end of this tutorial, you'd be actually learning how to set up this mechanism where you can clear messages, not just using Firebase or any kind of other uh, database system like MySQL or NoSQL because the logic is same regardless whatever the database you use now if I click on this and I go back and I will see the messages has read now of course I have two devices over here now if I do reply from here and we'll see that uh, thanks for asking now if I send a message from here and it would go there and it's the same thing if I click it, open it, go back, and then of course it's gone. So let's go ahead and understand how this kind of mechanism works. Now, before we understand this kind of mechanism, regardless whatever the database you use, you know your database, you should have dedicated two columns. One is from message num and the other is to message num and how they should work. Now here I do have these two simulators and it should explain very well that how they should work. Okay. Now for example, say if I send messages from this guy to this guy over here, let's see how it changes. So let's do it. Over here, let's do a test. Now I'm doing it with examples so that you understand it better. Let's hit this. Okay. All right. Now, if we do that and over here, you just saw that over here from message num, this one became one. Just now it was zero. Let's try it again. So let's do another test. Now we'll see that when I hit this, this is going to change. All right. And just wait. Okay, it changed. Changed as number of message, the latest number and time. And over here we do see that it's two. So what is the first mechanism? The first mechanism should be actually when you send a message in your database, there should be a field. The field could be anything. Once again, this solution should work across all the database system, not just Firebase or MySQL, because this is the logical problem rather than a technical problem. So you can name the message field anything. I call it I call it from message now because I'm sending this from here to there. Now just now I send two messages and over here we see two over here and two over here. And of course you see at the top we have more messages that I have sent to device. Then what is this two? Well this two actually represents the number of unread messages because well, I send these two messages and we do see that over here, this guy, he has two unread messages and which this and this, it corresponds. So this refers to the unread messages, not the total message. It doesn't matter number of total messages. The only thing we care about is number of unread messages. Now, if I actually open this, this would set to zero and that's how it should work. Okay, so what do we do over here? When I send message over here, we update this one. So, well, I have sent two messages and the user, it didn't, the user over here didn't open it. So when this user has this message screen, the screen itself automatically update. Okay, so it can read that, okay, well, there are two messages and you didn't read that. Of course, this state is important to maintain, but here I'm not going to explain the state thing over here. It's a different topic. Anyway, so this page can detect that, okay, some, some other user has sent me two messages and I didn't open that, okay? So this is one thing. Now, of course, if I go ahead and open it we'll see that it sets to zero okay let's give it a time because it may need a little bit of time all right 
Now, if it did not like, yes, it did actually, but it's a bit slow because we are on simulator. Uh, so that's why it's a little bit slow. So you see that when I opened it, it is set to zero. All right. So now let's do it over here one more time, one more time. All right, let's try it and we'll see how it works. Now, definitely we'll see that message updates over here and message update over here as well. Now, of course, it looks like one, okay? But in fact, if we go back, we'll see that it says to zero. Now, that's because over here, actually, we are on simulator, so it takes a bit of time to be updated. On real device it's much faster because I have tested so the idea over here that we learn that once I send messages from one device to another this device itself should have a field on our database column which should represent and store the number of unread messages and when the other user they open this it would has to set to zero automatically so we have to work on this mechanism but of course it works pretty much the same from here to here here I could say thanks for connecting with me all right so let's send the message and here we'll see that okay well it updated over here but this time it updated another field to message num so here we keep track of two devices one using from message now like this guy is sending message from here to there so it's called from message you can name it anything and when this guy replies we track that message number in another field which is called to message num all right but of course when this guy opens it up it would set automatically to zero well it's working but firebase uh, connection on the simulator could be slow now over here you see it's set to zero automatically so the way it works for this device it works the same over here the logic is same but of course because we are using two different devices the token they are different so a lot of thing happens in the code in terms of token and state management so once we understand this logic that how it works now we'll go ahead and look at the core logic actual logic so that we can understand how it works all right so i'm going to open up my code over here all right okay so one thing we have to know that uh, well over here itself is uh, actually a page and what is this page this page is actually now when we are on this page actually this page this screen is represented by a class it's called messages so this class all right now actually this class reads all the messages or information from the field over here this is the field i'm talking about okay like uh, whatever is currently here like zero 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 or related information So you should have a class that class should read this kind of information okay and that class should present information on the screen okay that's the first thing but clearing message like if you send a message clearing so clearing message is actually responsible for another class so that class over here we call it chat class now of course my chat class has a controller over here and the controller is being initialized over here actually well not the controller itself the controller initializes a lot of stuff and those are being initialized over here so the idea is the screen where you should be showing unread messages that should be one class but clearing should be happening from another class and that class the another class that should be triggered when you click on a box like this okay because this is a message box I can click and then this chat class gets triggered eventually which calls chat controller class and over here I have an init method so you should do the same regardless what language or framework you use okay now over here of course here as I am using this uh, Firebase and over here we have document so I get the document ID 
Now, if you use MySQL or any other system, you should get the row ID. That's the point. And this is the same thing, actually. So get the row ID because that row ID maybe saves some information. Okay, or it could be a table in your case. So you have to get either the table or a row. Anyway, so you see over here, we have a method which is called clear message num. So this init method gets triggered when I click on this. So what it does, it gets the document ID or row ID. And then, well, it first reads all the information from my row. So what is this or from my document? It reads all this information from here, okay? Well, as it does, well, first it gets all the information and then it checks two important fields. And these are the two important fields I was talking. One is from message num, the other is to message num because we just focus on clearing messages. So that's why we focus on these two fields. Now, the row is saved as an object over here. Now, because this object contains the information from my database, so I can access the related field. Now, over here, as you see, I'm accessing to message num over here and from message num. Well, I am checking to message num if it didn't have original value, so I set it to zero, which means that actually we don't have any unread messages, okay? Now, if it's not null, that means that it has some value. The value is a set. Now, in our case, actually, if we go and check now to message num, there is one value. There is a value set and the value is one. And we see that this is one over here, right? Okay, cool. And we do the same for from message num for the other one. Now here, one conditional check is very important, the token because you have to know who is the user because two different users now if i'm on this device now i have to get this device token to confirm with my own token like which means that the token coming from our firebase because this field is this section is very important over here you should be saving token like here you see i have token over here and a token over here so this is like the core field which saves your token between two users. So we need to check that whether I'm getting the right token because I want to clear here as I click on this. I don't want to clear the messages of other people. I just want to clear on my phone. So that's why the token is important. So here we make sure that the current user, all right, if I'm the current user of this app, and of this document over here because this is actually coming from this from token is coming from this document object a row object if it is so then actually i set the two message num to zero what does it mean because i told you that clear message num it's coming from init method and init method gets triggered when i click on this right so when I'm clicking on this, that means that regardless, whatever the number was there, as soon as I click and if the condition match, then I become zero, right? That's it. So because now you see I set it to zero and after setting it to zero, we also update the database field. As you see, so we are calling this update method using the same document ID that's being passed. All right, or it could be a row ID or a certain table. All right, so hopefully it should make sense. Now, if we go back, we'll see that there is no message there. Right, cool. Now, of course, what if you are on this page and someone else right now send you a message? Thank you again. So let's go ahead and receive this over here. All right, once again, I'm on Firebase, so it could be slow. All right, so the, in this case, before you leave this page, you also have to set, because this is a new message, right? If you go and check the database field right now, it became one, because we just sent another message, all right? So I can send another one, try again. So we'll see, it, it is back again. Now over here, we might check, okay, the message number is a two beautiful 
Now, before I leave this page, once I click on this, I would be leaving this page. When I leave this page, I need to make sure that I'm setting the document, setting the message number to whatever it's supposed to be over here, right? So that's why I call this method again. So that means that when I'm leaving, actually it should be set to zero you see it's gone but once again it was a bit slow because we are on simulator okay so that's the idea and that's how you should be working on so the core idea is you should have two dedicated fields they should keep track of number of messages coming from the other side okay and then you should also have a mechanism that should get triggered and of course that should lock your row id or object and from there you should read the current number of unread messages and then set to zero now set to zero should only be triggered from init or any kind of method like that that's get triggered when you open a page and before you leave the page you should call the same message again so that you have the current state and the correct number of messages set to zero all right thank you